All right. Uh, good day, students. Um, you know, yeah, Murray Enterprises, we study STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, uh, but we're going to make it STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, um, science, technology, engineering, arts, but language, arts, and then math, STEAM, because we need language in whatever we're trying to do, because language is just so important, because, and we are really, really struggling when it comes to critical thinking, and it really helps, our, it really uh, hinders our creativity. Now, this is what I'm gonna teach right now. You remember the famous long division, right? The very, very famous long division. You write something like this, yeah. Some of you will go and add a tail here, which is not necessary, but they'll add a tail here like that. Okay, for example, you have a word like, 9,000, 9, and maybe, let's say 45. If I ask you, is this number divisible by three? Can it divide three? Because one will say 9,045 divided by three. Yes, it can divide three. And um, your famous long division will go like this. You start from nine. Why do you start from nine and not from five? So you start from nine and it's gonna ask you're gonna ask yourself how many threes are in nine? So okay, three threes are in nine. And then you do three times three, you're gonna have nine, and then you're gonna do a subtraction here, and then you're gonna have zero, and then you're gonna drop down this zero, and with this other zero, it's gonna be zero, and then you're gonna ask yourself, how many threes are in zeros? So how many threes are how many threes are in this zero? Well, zero three. You're gonna put a zero on top of that. And you're gonna do zero times three is gonna be zero. And you're gonna do zero minus zero. And then you have gonna go, you're gonna get a zero. And then you're gonna drop down the four down here. Next to this zero, you have zero four, which is just four. And you're gonna ask yourself how many threes are in four? You're gonna say one, and you're gonna do one times three, you're gonna say three. And then now you're gonna do subtraction and then you're gonna get one. And then let's just change another color for convenience sake. And then you're gonna drop down the five just next to this one. And then you're gonna have 15. And then you're gonna ask yourself, so one and this five is gonna be 15. Then you're gonna ask yourself, how many threes are in 15? And your answer is gonna be five. So five, and then you're gonna write your five above this five. Let's just change the color, convenience sake. Five. Then you're gonna do five times three, and you're gonna say 15. And then you're gonna do 15 minus 15. And if you get zero, which 15 minus 15 is zero. So it means there are no remainder, or in other words, 9,045 divides three evenly. It means there's no remainder, it divides it evenly, right? Okay, so that is good, that is good. This is your long division. And if you've forgotten some other steps, you know, some students will come and say, oh, I don't know how to do long division. I forget the steps. But do you know all this time, this is what you've been doing. Do you, do you know, like a lot of students, do you know, and a lot of adults who definitely watch this video too. And do you know your childhood long division is simply a skill that came from you learning place value. Now, place value, how does it work? In place value, words, English, English words, oh, sorry, English numbers, they come in group of three. And then if you can put your decimal place there, it will come in group of three, in group of threes, and then you have a comma, and then another group of threes, you have a comma and these are called place values because we can put one digit in every place value like this. We'll put one digit. So let me not go too far. I'll just end like here, like so. And if you have, if you have, let's say we just have two everywhere, two, 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 two. So this is a huge number and, and these two, they, are, they, they do not have the same value, okay? So this one is ones, 
and then here is t tens uh, tens and then the next two here means hundred and then this next two here means this one here down here means means thousand so small h and this one this one here means tens of thousands so t and then th tens of thousands and then this next two here means hundreds of thousands so that would h t h hundreds of thousand so let's just end here we can keep going right but if you understand that what is just happening is that we have to just learn how to read three digits so one two three from your left going right one two three and we put a comma here and this comma just means thousand that's the first comma so you read this number as 222 and you also read this one as 222 but the name of this comma here is called thousand so if we group in groups of threes it's going to be very easy for you to read just 222 we learn how to read all two three digit numbers right 222,222. that's the answer or well, 222,222. because in american uh, uh, uh most colloquial way of like street language or even in books uh, like in schools they don't usually say and you know british english like 200 and 22. we're going to say 222 okay now let's let's see what is going on with um well the number that we have here okay so let me pull up this number and i just take away these this stuff like so uh where's my thing there I forget about it um let's pull it up so this is nine thousand and that so i'm gonna put nine because it's a comma for thousand so the C zero tens, zero hundred, sorry, four tens and five ones. So what does it mean to say five ones? Five ones actually is something like O for ones. Uh, people use unit like unit. So five ones means this five year means one, 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 five of them. And then four tens here, 40, 45, the four year is not actually four in fact four does not exist here what exists is 10 and here we're just going to write how many times 10 exists in this number so this four year does not really exist. it's not one two three four it's just a four telling us that 10 10 10 10 there are four tens here okay and then this zero means there are no hundred right there's no hundred and this nine means one thousand we have nine of them in fact i'm gonna take the pains and i'm gonna write nine of these thousands like this oh my god it takes just a hell of a pain so i'm gonna do that with uh the 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 the, the. so that's that's a thousand right and so that's two then i'm gonna take another one three four so that's gonna be faster five six seven eight nine very good so that's the meaning of nine here. In fact, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine does not exist. What exists is just nine thousand. These thousands, nine of them. So you go to the bank, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, nine bills of a thousand, and you're gonna get four bills of ten, and you're gonna get five bills of one. So altogether you're gonna get one, two, three, four. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You're going to get 18 individual bills, right? And then that would give you 9,045. In fact, 9 does not exist. 4 does not exist. 5 does not exist. What exists are just 1s, 10s, 100. Yeah, yeah, it says no 100. Uh, don't give that boy 100. Don't give him 100. And then we have 9,000s. Nine nine, 9, so these are what exists, the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and, the, uh, and, and so forth. And this in math, if some of you just forget these names, okay? Math convention is really a hassle. So this is called place value. So this is called place value, meaning that there are places, and then this begins from the right going left. So this is ones, this is called the ones place. And this is the next place. Space is just a, a place where you put things, right? So this is one's place, this is tens place, hundreds place, ninth place. And the values are different. If you see four here and four here, they are different place, means they will have different value. Value here means amount. 
means amount right different amount um okay it's amount a new word for somebody okay what about quantity what, what about quantity is it uh, still a new word okay oh my god okay then stick with value right so the value of this five year means one 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 whole number of things right at least we understand one like one head you just have one head then this will mean five heads and then this will mean what ten 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 four tens of heads and then this will mean like a thousand a thousand thousand heads okay get uh fun with the heads okay now and zero hundreds of course you can't just remove the hundred and you write nine four five then you'll be wrong even if there is no hundred you have to put it by using the zero so that at least we know this is still four place values right you have your thousand where it's supposed to be the fourth one the hundred is the third one the tens is the second one and the ones is the first one again we start counting the values from right going left okay so we say uh ones tens hundreds thousands like that okay now i will say we have made it so long because now i wish if you don't understand state please go back and read go back and watch what came before i delete here i'm gonna delete so again another way to write nine thousand forty five is to write nine thousand like this right nine thousand like this. this is three zero nine thousand and plus right plus you have exactly zero hundreds right you have zero hundreds well if you want to write zero hundreds with three zeros then fine i wouldn't fault you for that okay and then we're gonna add what about tens our tens we're gonna say we have four tens which is 40 four tens is 40 okay i hope if you're in class three you understand four tens is 40. i don't want to keep explaining myself okay and then five ones you just write it as five and see what you have been doing all your life as long division. So if you want to really, if you want to really calculate how many threes are in this number, so this is nine thousand zero hundreds, four tens, and five ones, or in other words, nine thousand and forty-five, or nine thousand forty-five. So now we want to ask. 9045 divided by 3 and i said in a previous video you can take 9045 you divide by threes by drawing three stick men stick man stick 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 so this is stick people you draw three of them and then you share you share you share 9045 this is what we do in kindergarten or grade one or nursery school right so you're going to share you're going to share one two three four five six you count like this right up to nine thousand forty five or another easier way of just asking this question not by sharing to three just by saying that how many threes because when you give everybody one one it's just one threes you give again one one is second three so you just ask how many threes so that i just know how many how many threes um can come out of nine thousand forty five so what do you do? Do you start with the five to ask how many threes can come out of the five? Well, if you start with a five, you can just count one three out of five and you'll be left with two. So what do you do with that two? Do you go and add the two here and become 42? So that you ask now a more important question. How many threes can come in 42? And then in 42, we have exactly, exactly how many threes? 14 threes, right? 14 threes in 42. So this way, it, it's so they'll be like, how do you take the number you add to the tens place? You should add that, you should, the number should be getting smaller. If there's any remainder, it should be getting better towards us towards a smaller end. So now your teachers they would create books where they will start to add add from here, and then they'll ask yourself they ask the, they'll ask themselves how many threes are in nine thousand? Okay. So they are 
three threes in this nine, and then here is all zeros. So we'll say there are three thousand threes in nine thousand. And how many threes are in all these zero? There are exactly zero threes here. How many threes are in forty? How many threes are in forty? There are actually thirteen threes, but thirteen times three will be thirty nine. So 40 minus the 39 will be 1. So we take the 1, we add it here, and we have 6. And the 1 coming from here, and how many 3s are in 6? We we'll have 2 3s are in 6. And then now, if we add the 3,000, 3, the 13, and this, our answer will be 3,015. 13 and 2 is 15. So we have exactly 3,015 3s in this number, OK? But now, see why we do it like this. Now you just ask this nine and they will say you have three here. But you know you're writing this three on top of the nine. If you put zero, zero, zero here, it's still gonna be three thousand. So are you seeing the three thousand on top of this? So that's three thousand. And then why do you drop down this? Because we're gonna ask ourselves now. We go to the hundredth place, right? We ask how many threes are in these zero hundreds? Of course, zero threes. And then now we go to the tens place, which is just 40. I'm going to say how many threes are in 40. Do you see how you say one here? And this one actually means what? This one actually means 10. So this way, when you say one, it actually means 10 threes. And 10 threes or 30. Do you see how you're writing by three here instead of 30? You're writing four years instead of asking how many threes are in 40 and you see how you're doing what you're doing here is called is called partial quotient you're just getting 30 out of the 43s you're removing 30 because it's easier because 30 has 10 just just forget about we don't want to remove up to 39 let's just move 30 because this zero i who will care about this zero right so you put your one there and then you say oh there'll still be 10 left do you see why we say there's 10 left 40 minus 30 is 10. Then you bring these five ones here, you add to 10, it becomes what? 15. Then now 15 is the last number that we have there. In this 15, now how many threes are in this 15? You see how we have exactly five threes? And then we come down there and we put 15 and we get nothing at the end as a remainder. And again, if I am being too fast with the speaking, it's because I expect you to read at least. 500 books in Murray Online Library so that your language, your rapport with the English language will be uh, at least the finesse level so that you're going to understand what I'm saying, okay? So again, if some of you are slow, then it has to do with language problems. So I would rather you start reading a lot of books in an online library because this is an international content. It's not only a content for Cameroon, it's a content for all the kids, including Cameroonian kids, who have read at least 500 books on Maria Enterprises Online Library, and they don't have problems with pronunciation because those 500 books, you also listen to about a thousand books with your um, kids A to Z online library. And then, of course, whatever I'm saying right now, you understand. Again, I will do an animation of this, but this is still doing partial quotient. This is not even even the way I would would have explained it, like in 40, how many threes are in 40, 39, nah. Yeah, they just take but 30. They're just dealing with only tens. How many tens can we remove from four tens that can exactly square up with three, that can exactly or divide three evenly. So it's uh, three tens. Three tens will divide three evenly. So that's just remove tens. Don't remove the ones. And if you're left with 110, then let's come and add the five ones to the 110 to make 15 ones. And in the 15 ones now, we can ask how many threes are in the 15 ones. And we say there are exactly five threes. And then we have the remainder again at the end. In this case, again, we're looking at how many thousands can we actually remove from these nine thousands that would divide three e evenly. And it's 3,000, and we have 3,000 here, and the answer, you just seen three here, but this three here stands for 3,000, because the place value on top of this nine is on the thousands place, right? So again, I could really do a better job and slow down and 
explain it to slow slower students but this content is for is not for slower students okay so again this is just shot something short that i wanted to bring to your attention but again it's not looking short because we always run into this problem take an example try it out again and then we'll see you next time murray enterprises adios